What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video, Madden Sunday School Episode 4. Today's passing concept, we are going to be going over the dagger passing concept. Uh, real quick, this concept can be found in pretty much every playbook. The one I'm using for this video is the Carolina Panthers. Uh, right now I'm in the spread Y slot formation. The play is literally just called dagger. Um, I'll also show you guys out of a trip set. So you'll see this combination a lot out of both, you know, two by two sets with two receivers on each side as well as three by one you know, trip style sets. It's a very versatile combination. I'll show it against, you know, a variety of defenses, but pretty much uh, the whole thought process behind it is uh, you have a clear out route being run by the slot receiver, in this case, right. And you have a drag underneath to occupy the underneath defenders in Olsen. And then you have a dig route behind it by Funchess. And so it stretches those middle of the field defenders. They have to pick. It's a high-low read, very simple high-low read over the middle of the field. Either they come down, guard the drag, and you hit the dig, or, you know, if they sink back and guard the dig, you should have the drag underneath. Uh, really, the backside, what I like to do, at least for this play, is I'll go ahead and block my running back just to afford a little extra protection because it can be a long developing route combination if you do have to wait for that dig to develop and cross the field. So I like the extra protection. I'm um, on the backside here. I generally will just leave that comeback route. Uh, sometimes this combo can have trouble getting open against man to man coverage. So I like that backside comeback. In case they do go to some type of two-man under or cover one, uh, the backside comeback route generally does a good job of getting open against man-to-man, -man, and it's pretty reliable in that aspect. But to start off here, I'll go ahead and show you guys this defense, or this combo, uh, rather, against a cover three style defense. And so you can kind of look at a cover three and see kind of what uh, will kind of end up being open in this concept. Um, generally, if they're playing a standard cover three sky, you'll almost always have this drag route underneath uh, because of the fact those purple zones are going to drop back and you'll be able to hit that drag underneath for seven or eight yards. Uh, the, the curl flat defenders generally will always drop back to guard uh, both, you know, the sinking uh, dig route along with the seam route being run by right. Uh, if they go with a cover three hard flat look, then the opposite will be true. So they'll bite down more so on the drag route and then that's whenever you have to kind of wait 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 and allow the dig to open up behind it and then right there Funchess not able to hold on the safety made a good hit but that's generally what you're looking for against a cover three style defense you can even throw that even if they have curl flats if they don't go hard flats and they just stay over the top coverage uh, the dig route is still a good option against cover three because of the fact that inherently uh, they don't have an intermediate zone player like a cover two does they have a mid read uh, in this case, cover three doesn't have somebody. They have a hook curl on the left side and a hook curl on the right, but nobody over the middle except for that deep safety. Generally, he's too deep to come up and make a play on the ball. Generally, you want the clear out route being run by the slot receiver to take him downfield. If he doesn't and comes up and makes a good play, then you know, good play by him. But as you can see right there, that's kind of what you're looking for. He's a little too deep to come up and make a play, and the dig route gets between the two zone defenders over the middle. So that's kind of how you're going to see it develop against cover three. Now against cover two, it's a little bit different. So right here we have a cover two with soft squats on the outside. Uh, the mid read over the middle really kind of muddies this play up a little bit. And, and cover two is probably the most uh, problematic coverage, I would say, for this concept. Uh, what you're going to see is, in most cases, if they don't have hard flats, you're, you're, you'll have this drag route, right, to throw just like against the cover three. And you'll get eight to ten yards, whatever it might be. And you can make your living that way if they don't adjust. But if guys adjust and they go with a cover two with hard flats, that's where it kind of becomes a little more problematic because the mid read does a great job of playing the dig route. And then with the hard flats, they do a great job of cutting off that drag route by the sideline. So that kind of ruins the combination of the drag dig. So if, if I go ahead and snap the ball here, you know, I have to wait for the dig to cross. I can't really throw that. I, I pick up two or three yards. You don't feel great about that. I'll go ahead and show you guys cover two hard flats once again. And I'll go ahead and try to throw the dig route here. And what you're going to see, if I snap the ball, end up having to wait. See how that mid read is right there in the middle of the field? Right there, he made a bad play and Funchess was able to fight the ball away from him. But you don't feel comfortable throwing that pass at all. Uh, that's definitely not how you want to make your living. So cover two hard flats probably does the best job of slowing down the dagger combo. Now, in this particular instance... Uh, we do have the backside comeback route, which against a hard flat defender, if they go hard flats on both sides, then, you know, the comeback route's going to be wide open right there. Cam got hit as he threw, but you could see the comeback was open. Once again, requires a little bit of development time because it is a long developing route. But cover two hard flat 
generally going to do the best job of slowing this down. If you are trying to run this against a cover two hard flat, I recommend trying to hit either the backside comeback route if that's how you're running it, or you can try and squeeze in the seam route to Jarius right. It's kind of a tough window, but if you can throw it right there, um, if he does get jammed off the line by that outside vertical hook, sometimes that'll happen. You just have to wait for the timing to be right. If they go ahead and do something like this, cover two hard flat, say they bring the vertical hook inside, something like this, um, and you're going to try and squeeze in that Y route, you know, it can be kind of sketchy right there. It doesn't look like it's super open, but you want to go inside pass lead and try and cut it off in front of that deep half safety on the left side. That's going to be another viable read against cover two. Uh, but overall, I would say cover two does do the best job of kind of slowing down uh, this concept. Now, next concept, we're going to go against this cover four. So cover four drop here out of the dollar formation. And this is kind of similar. Uh, cover four, I'd say, is probably maybe the worst against this type of uh, concept because it kind of brings the best of both worlds from both uh, cover two and cover three in terms of you're going to be able to hit that drag very consistently. Um, and you're also, same as cover three, you have the two hook curls over the middle. So they don't have a defender directly over the middle over the middle stock. Um, so if you do have time in the pocket to allow that dig route to develop, you're going to be able to let it develop and hit it over the middle uh, between the two hook curl defenders. So I guess it's much more like cover three in the fact that if they don't really make any adjustments, you can just kind of take what the defense gives you. You can both hit the drag and the dig. If they do go something like hard flats, then that's obviously going to do a better job of taking away the drag route, and then you're going to have to hit the dig. If they do do something like this and adjust and put this guy in a mid read, obviously your opponent can make a ton of adjustments. And, uh, you know, at that point, once you guys are making adjustments, you just have to try and predict what your opponent's going to do and, and adjust off of that. But in terms of just against the cover four drop, a dagger concept is going to work very, very well, just like against cover three. So, uh, once again, cover two is really the coverage that kind of slows down dagger, at least in Madden. Man-to-man um, -man coverage here, we're going to look at, and like I said earlier in the video, you know, I like the backside comeback route against man-to-man. -man. Obviously, you have the drag route that can get open. Right there, he ended up getting bumped. The pressure got to me. So that's kind of the problem is sometimes it can be long developing. Every route aside from that drag route is really long developing. And so if the drag doesn't get open or he gets pressed at the line and, and he can't get a good release... Uh, then sometimes you could be in trouble if, if the pass rush can get there right there drag routes covered I have to try and force that into Funches. He's trying to make a one-handed grab so That can be the other problem with this combo is the fact that you know man-to-man -man can kind of slow it down Depending on what formation you're running it out of I'll show you guys against out of a trip set in a minute uh, But right here This is why I kind of like that comeback route against man-to-man -man is if you wait for him to break back You'll get good separation like you saw right there more times than not so just a little recap, cover three, you should be able to hit both the drag and the dig depending on what your opponent wants to play. If they go hard flats, look for the dig. If they're playing regular cover three sky with curl flats, uh, then you should have good success with uh, you know, either the dig or uh, the drag route. If they go cover two, you should wanna look for the drag route or uh, the seam route to right, right in front of the safety, cutting, off, cutting it off right in front of that uh, left side deep half zone. If they go cover four, you wanna look for either like cover three, the drag or the dig, uh, depending on if they go hard flats, then the dig. If not, look for the drag. And man to man, uh, look to see if the drag or the dig can create separation. And if you have time, look for the backside comeback route. So right here is an example of dagger out of a trip set. So Trey Y flex out of the Carolina Panthers playbook. And this is what it looks like. Once again, I would go with a blocking uh, halfback. And really the only difference on this one is now you have a deep crossing route coming from the left side rather than the right side comeback. So much of the same reads um, right here. Go ahead, look at the drag, pick up four or five yards. That was against what looked like a cover three sky potentially. Um, so if I have a cover three, uh, then I could go with something like either the drag or the dig, like I said earlier. Uh, right here, if I have time, the dig opens up over the middle. So same concept. It's going to be the same reads and progressions as it is out of a two by two spread set. It's just a different look. You're just window dressing. Uh, your offensive combinations and making the defense, you know, kind of off balance in terms of not knowing what to expect out of different looks that you're presenting them. But you're really going to see the same things. The one thing I do like out of this set is that deep crossing route, much like the comeback route earlier, is very good at beating man-to-man -man coverage. And so that's going to be a nice bonus 
if your opponent does like to play man to man then that deep cross is going to do a great job of deterring that and forcing them into other coverages um also it's also a great route just against you know different um different zone coverages as well you know you can find it over the middle of the field right there against cover two it, it does a great job of kind of finding the soft spot in the zone and you can settle it down and kind of guide it with a precision pass into where you want it to go so i actually probably prefer the trips version of dagger in this case um but obviously like i said you can find it in a lot of different playbooks and a lot of different formations but that's going to do it for this video guys as always thank you so much for watching episode four of madden sunday school hope you guys enjoyed until next time take it easy